Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is transport and communication. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it is important for us to sanitize. Remember, when you're sanitizing, you can also teach other people how to sanitize by showing them. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about right angles and measurement. exercise today boys and girls let us turn to page 12 on page 12 we are going to be doing right angles everyone let's say right angles now we are told that a right angle is equal to a corner of a square and I want to explain that before we try and find the right angles so let's take a look at the board now on the board, I have a square. Already what we know about a square is that it has four equal sides. We also know that a square has four corners. One, two, three, four. But now what we're learning today is that a square has four right angles, which means that there is a point where they meet, the sides meet. That is the right angle angle. Now it is a right angle because the lines are straight. They are not going to the side or curving. So we have our horizontal lines and our vertical lines meeting. If the angle is on the other side, for example, if the angle is like this, on this part, on this side, then it is no longer a right angle. So we are not looking for any angles that just meet in corners, but rather we're looking for the right angle that meets the horizontal line and the vertical line. So now let us take a look and try and find the right angles in our exercise. As you can see, we have number one up to number four. So we need to look for the right angles. Now, a right angle can either be on top or at the bottom. It's going to be your job to tick all the correct right angles. Remember, if the line is going inside, then it is not a right angle. Or if it is protruding outside, it is also not a right angle. After that, you're going to put a circle around all the angles in these shapes. Remember, for this one, you're going to look for the angles, not for the sides, not for the corners, but for the angles. And I want you to please take your time with this one. Make sure you take a look at a square and revise what an angle is. 
not a corner and not a side. Take your time with both exercises and I will see you soon after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our last exercise today, please can you turn to page 13. On page 13, we are going to be doing measurement. Now, remember, measurement is all about the length. And this time, instead of just measuring with anything, we are going to be using our rulers. Now, we're going to be using the side that is written CM for centimeter. If you can see, you have for the first question, three items that need to be measured. Now I'm going to teach you how to measure using your ruler. This is my ruler in the classroom. Now, as you can see, it's quite long. So this is actually a meter ruler, but it has the same measurements as your ruler. As you are starting to measure boys and girls, you need to look for the zero or for the centimeter line that is just on the edge. That is where you're going to start your measurement. Now, when you're measuring an object, boys and girls, you need to start from, at, from where the object either ends or begins, and you put your ruler right there in line with the zero. When you are done measuring, you'll be taking a look at where it's coming from. So we start measuring from the left, going to the right. My pencil here, in this case, is six centimeters. So I am going to measure starting at the back, going to the front, which means starting from the left, going to the right. And as I'm looking at my numbers, I come to the one that is in line with the front one. And in this case, it is six. So my answer after measuring will say that this pencil is six centimeters long. And I want you to please take your time when you're measuring the three objects. Let's now take a look at the second part of our exercise. Now the second part is asking you to draw lines for the following lengths. And we are going to try and do number two together. So let's take a look at the board. Now the first thing you need to do is draw your starting line where you will place your CM or your zero. So I'm going to put my starting line here. And then after that, I am going to put my ruler and then look for where it says 10. In this case, my 10 is here. So I'm also going to put another line in line with my 10. Hold your ruler firmly down so it does not move. Now I know that I have my two points. From 0 to 10, I have one point, point A, and then point B. Now that I have point A and point B, I need to join them together with my ruler and a straight line. There we go. Now I know that I have 10 centimeters drawn on the board. The same thing that I have done here is what you are also going to do. Make sure that you have a starting point before you measure and you put your ruler on the CM. Have fun with this one and please boys and girls try and be as neat as possible. Hold your ruler firmly down and when you are done check for any mistakes. I will see you soon after the advert break. 
Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope that you had fun. Remember, if anything is too difficult or you can't remember, you can always ask for help. Just make sure that you finish the exercises by yourself. Now that we are done, it is important for us to sanitize at the end. Remember, when we sanitize after lessons, we're trying to make sure that whoever we see afterwards, we are staying safe from them and to protect them as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I want to go outside and play with my friend. Zashi said he would be here just now, but I'm not sure where he is. Oh, hello Zashi, how are you? <laughs> So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>